Hey. I feel like I'm getting the plague or something. It's not good. Let's see who we are beating up this round. Not a great matchup, but we can hold our end. That might be keepable. Arbor, Hierarch, nothing. Doesn't seem very keepable. Both in path are blanks, obviously. That doesn't seem very keepable either. The only thing that last hand had going for it was Green Sun Zenith for Casali Pride Mage. This is fine though. I I don't need a lot of cards to play this matchup. I just need a clock and then Casali Pride Mage pretty much. This is the one spot where Knight of the Reliquary is not super amazing awesome. He is like, okay amazing awesome. I should probably have watched more and gotten a better idea of his list and stuff. Okay, we're gonna put him on a massive clock here. And get ready for game two. It's not really that bad of a clock. Deal on seven next turn. If I fetch land next turn, do I know the reliquary? to someone playing Pair Through Depths. Guess Hierarch of Bolt you. Yeah. It's a sorry state of affairs. Get in for eight. With a helix or a bolt, I'm lethal next turn. I 
This is the problem with ascension, is that sometimes you don't draw ascension. Peer through depths in Raman don't do a great job of helping you draw it. Raman is god awful here. Holy crap, is Raman bad? Uh, not sure that that really helps you. So, turn four is when he would usually kill. Main deck jumps and counts. Pair through depths. <laughs> Good luck finding ascension with that. Great. That's sort of why I stopped playing ascension. Arena not so great in this matchup, incidentally. Elspeth, but not Gideon. Am I? Wouldn't I rather have a Helix? Probably rather have a Helix, like always. Because they sort of do the same thing, but one costs a lot less. Teague isn't great against Ascension, incidentally. A lot of the cards aren't that great against Ascension, but Youth of Sworn Canonist is pretty good, and Casali Pride Mage also pretty good. Both of those cards are in my hand. Casting a canonist. So he has to deal with that. Then he loses his ascension. Alright, he can't deal with that this turn. start for him. He's playing basic mountains, that's also uh, not great for him. I guess I'd be pretty surprised if I didn't get reminded here. Question is, do I care? Let's sneak and dry at armor in. <laughs> you can also be pair through depth same. So I guess I'd better just play Pride Mage. Then if it resolves, I can go with Ghost Quarter, and if it doesn't, I can go with Dryad Armor. And it does. Okay. Uh, 
I think I'm okay with letting him untap Sudden Shock. Sudden Shock. Um, if he has Sudden Shock, I probably win anyway. The problem is if he has, like, a gazillion free spells or something, I don't know. Sudden Shock doesn't seem so bad. You can get to untap with it. Am I going to? Dubs echoing the truth. Oh man. I think I'm just gonna kill it now. Kill it, canonist. My cattle. If I don't kill it now, it gets to activate it and then start metamorphosing. Well, I'll have a canonist in play though. So, alright, we can make a deal with the canonist first. And then kill it. Sudden shock would still be pretty good here. Really? We're just casting nothing. Okay. Guess I attack now? What's happening? Is he twin? No, he has an ascension in play. <laughs> Might have boarded hybrid. So many echoing truths. I think now is when I kill Ascension. Quite definitely. Fairly definitely. I can't just let him have an Ascension active on the table. Let's kill that. one of Echoing Truth left. I should probably be worried about like a fire spell. Let's see, how do I get lethal and stop him from killing me? Maybe just do that in a Dryad Arbor? I don't think I want to play the Canonist as well. Because of Fire Spout. Oh, 
it seems pretty unlikely to matter right now. Hey, you were 3 -0. Okay. Yeah, I think <laughs> Ascension does not have a good matchup against me. I'll see you for round four.